Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you not one, not two, but three ways you can connect your Google Analytics to your WordPress website. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now, before we start, there is one thing that I need to tell you, and it's that we'll be using three different plugins. One of the methods is by installing Google Sidekick. So in order to do so, you want to head over to your plugins add new and over in the search box you want to search for sidekit or you can just simply go to popular then scroll down a little bit until you see the sidekit by google head over install it and then click activate you want to scroll to the top you want to click the refresh now button and then you'll see a new item over here over in the left sidebar you'll see this sidekit so head over to the dashboard and over here i usually click both of these connect google analytics as part of your setup and it'll help us improve sidekit by sharing anonymous usage data so the first step is to sign in with Google and that's what we're going to be doing right now. So head over, click the sign in with Google and I would redirect you to this following page, choose an account. I would choose my account over here and then click continue. And yeah, I usually enable all the options over here and I'll scroll down and I click continue. So the next step is to have Google verify site ownership. So yeah, I'll click verify. And now we have the site kit tells us turn on metrics in your dashboard. Yes, I want to see those metrics in my dashboard. So I will allow it. And then yeah, I want to also set up a search console for this website. So I'll click set up. And then the other part is also to set up to Google Analytics. Also here, click next. Right after that, you'll be redirected to the following page where it tells you what's the account, what's the property, and what's the web data stream. And also it will tell you automatically what's the country and what's the time zone and i would usually encourage you to also enable the enhanced measurement because then it will allow to also measure the file downloads form completions and video views other than that you're ready to go and just click the create account i will choose the Again, my account. Yes, I want to continue. And then again, click continue. Now the Google Analytics will be set up on your website and it will connect to your website. For me, it just redirected me to the Google Analytics because this is a brand new Google Analytics account. So in my case, I usually go and just click accept and then go to my dashboard and this would be the following dashboard that you will see and as you can see we have congrats on completing the setup for google analytics as you can see here it's gathering data so give it some time as we can see here we have a few data items over here we have the pie channels location and devices we have it filtered by all visitors we have search traffic over the last 28 days and you will be able to see here the total impressions total clicks unique visitors from search and then at the bottom here you will see a few more things over here as you can see your top search queries for your site and this would be either from the google analytics or from the google search console and the other thing here we have top content over the last 28 days again this would be from the google search console or from the google analytics now at the bottom here you'll be able to see the visitors experience your site so how your visitors when they come to your website how they would experience it as you'll be able to see here largest content full pane and cumulative layout shift and total lock time you'll be able to see all of these ones and compare them between the mobile view and the desktop view as you can see here at the bottom here we have also adsense if you wish to connect adsense to your website but but I would not be covering this in this video. And if you want to, I'll be really glad to if you leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll be really glad to make a full tutorial how to set up your Google AdSense on your website using WordPress. Now, if we scroll to the top here, we'll be able to see that each of every section, you'll be able to navigate through this quick navigation menu over here. We'll be able to see traffic, content, speed, and monetization over here. Now, I'll scroll to the top. You'll be able to see that you have a few more options. You can search by URL. You can view the data range over here. You'll be able to up by 90 days 28 14 and 7 days and that's pretty much what i wanted to show you in this plugin other than that we have two more options which would be manually installing google analytics on our website so again head over to your plugins and then add new and over in the search box what you want to search for is 99 robots and you would want to install the header photo code manager. So install it and click activate. Again, refresh the page by pressing the refresh now button. And we'll have a new item right on our left sidebar. Right over here, we'll be able to see this little robot icon with the name HFCM. And we'll be able to see the, all the snippets and add new and tools. Now, before we go there, I wanted to emphasize this is not the only plugin that you can do that with. You can also search for code snippets or WP code, and you can do the same thing with these plugins. I've just written snippets over here under search box and you'll be able to see that code snippets and wp code 
again these are the plugins i just prefer specifically for that the hfcm or the 99 robots header footer custom code so head over to this plugin whether to all snippets or just add new and we'll be greeted with the pop-up where it will tell you that i do understand what i'm doing here because by the wp config file over in the wordpress website it is disabled to add custom code but this plugin enables you so it will tell you look all the snippets all the code that you will be implementing over here it's on you not on anybody else so yeah in my case i will click i understand and here the first thing that you want to do here is name your snippet so in my case it would be google analytics ga4 like so ga4 just stands for google analytics 4 it's the new google analytics version of google analytics just if you don't know what the ga4 stands for that's what it stands for the snippet type would be html and the site display would be site wide you can also specify it by post pages and so forth as you can see all the options over here are available for you here just so you know there is also a pro version of it but i'm not using it because that's pretty much does what i need from it to do in this case so I'll do it site wide because I want that Google Analytics will measure all the pages on my website and the location will be in the header. Now, also, I want to display it on all devices. You can, through this plugin, decide what devices you want to show it onto, only desktops or only on mobile devices, but I'll keep it on all devices and status is active. Now, the next thing that we have to do is grab our code from the Google Analytics. So we'll head over to Google Analytics and over here, head over to the admin over here, over in the left sidebar over here click the admin and then you want to head over to data streams right over here under the data collection and modification and click the data stream over here and over here, if you don't see that right away, you want to scroll to the bottom over here until you see the view tag instructions and click it. And a new right sidebar will pop up and it will tell you what platform are you going to be installing the Google Analytics. You have also the option to choose that and select your platform, but in this case, we're going to be doing it manually. So you want to click the install manually right on the right over here. And then you want to copy this code right over here. Copy it. There is nothing to be worried about. It's just a script that will tell the website to send all the data to Google Analytics. So head over back to your website and then just paste the code over here. As you'll be able to see here, Google tag, and then there's the script and also the ID here, as we can see here. And this ID would be the same ID as if we'll go back over here, it will be identical to what we see here under the measurement ID. So other than that, head over back to your website and then click save. And here we have the word friends tells me, okay, wait, you're implementing a new code. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm certain this is a false positive. Allow this action. Now let's refresh that. Yes, okay. And here we'll be able to see that our code has been saved. Now this is the second method. Now the third method, also it will be manually, but the process will be even easier. So what you wanna do if you're using Elementor in this case, I'm using it Head over to Elementor and then you want to click the custom code over here so over here add new custom code and the same process would be repeated so here you want to paste your code right over here and then name your title of this snippet or this custom code and then under the location you want to keep it at the head here you can also specify it under body and then at the end of the body tag but in our case keep it as head and then you want to click publish yes you want to display it or include it on the entire site and then just click save and close and yeah that's pretty much it you're done and you have google analytics installed on your website and that's what i wanted to show you in this video i really hope this video helped you and if it did i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that i post on wordpress elementor and woocommerce and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one